Section 2.4 is about indexing values. So if we're sort of interested in extracting or, um, or manipulating individual values of a vector or a matrix. Now to show this, let's create a 4 by 4 matrix quickly. Okay, I'm going to use this magic command as a function um, which does something special. Um, I'll leave you to um, look up in the help what that might be if you don't know already. Okay. Now to refer to a particular element, you have to specify the row and then the column in that order. So if I typed in four, sorry, C four comma two. Okay, C is my uh, my matrix, and I'm going for the fourth row, second column. So the values should be fourteen, and it is. Okay. Now if I wanted to extract certain values of the second row, so instead of just one value, I want to select actually a small string of values. I'll go L uh, equals C. So I'm going to go for the second row, okay, and I'm going to go for the second, third, and fourth values. Now, I type 2 colon 4. Now, we know that when we're defining vectors, 2 colon 4 would actually be 2, 3, and 4. And so that's exactly what it does here. Second row, 2, 3, and 4, we get 11, 10, and 8, which is indeed the second row, columns 2, 3, and 4. Now, to extract a whole row or, or column, we use the colon command. Okay, so for example, if I typed m equals c, okay, remember it's rows and vectors, so I'm going to go all rows, which is what the colon says, and then three, that should extract the third column as a vector, as a column vector. And it does, m equals 3, 10, 6, and 15, which is what you can see up here. Okay, likewise, we could do the same thing, but it's extract a whole row. So let's say I want to extract the third row. I go three, comma, and then colon to collect all values of of the uh, all the columns of that third row. And so that should be nine, seven, six, and twelve, which indeed it is. Now note that if I show C up again, the uh, one thing to remember with MATLAB is that this. Uh, the index of the first value is always 1. Okay, so the obviously C11 should give me 16. Okay, now that may differ from other programming languages where the first value um, quite often uh, would be indexed as 0. Okay, so we 0, 1, 2, 3, and 0, 1, 2, and 3 this way. But obviously in MATLAB, like I said, you've just got to bear in mind that that command is 1. Okay. The other thing to um, think about is that when you've only got a column or row or row vector, so I'll call this V, and we'll we'll say okay, well that's let's say one, two, and three. Okay, if you want to get a value of that, you just have to give it one argument. So say I wanted the second value, I could just say V two, and that will pick up the second value. And likewise, if I said V equals V prime, and I said V two here, okay, it'll pick up that value. But clearly, um, you know, obviously. Because um, it, it doesn't have a sort of dimension in the center of second dimension, we don't need to specify rows and columns. We just need to define which value out of that selection that we would like. Now, if you wanted to um, modify certain elements, there's ways to do that as well. So, if we define m being one, two, and three in the top row, and four, five, and six in the bottom row, then that's our vector or our matrix. Sorry. Now, if we wanted to set the top right value, so this 3, to be 0, we can say m, first row, third column, equals 0. And that changes m to have that first row, um, sec uh, third column, to be 0. Now, if we wanted to set the first column equal to the second column, um, first column, we could go m, so all rows, first column, equal all rows, second column. And what that does, that will take these values here and put them in these values here. So it makes the first row and the second column the same thing.